G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. In the magic square shown, the sums of the numbers in each row, column, and diagonal are the same. Now that's the magic square. Every row adds up the same, column adds up the same, diagonals add up to the same. All right. Five of the numbers represented by V, W, X, Y, and Z. So five of the numbers are represented by these. Okay, so my magic square has some unknown spots in it. Okay. What is the value of Y plus Z? Y plus Z. Hmm. Okay. Definitely feels like an algebra question. Um, lots of things to work out here. Actually, there's five unknowns. X, Y, Z, V, and W. Hmm. Well, it is a magic square. Each row does add up to the same number as each column, as each, each diagonal. So I could write down some equations. For example, very top row, V plus 24 plus W equals sum. Oh, we don't know, don't know what the magic sum is. No, it doesn't say what the sum is. Uh, M, magic sum, add another variable to the, the list. That's a bit crazy. Uh, I know, could keep going. 18 plus X plus Y equals that M again. And 25 plus Z plus 21 equals that M again. Or I could start doing some um, columns, V plus 18 plus 25 equals M, and I guess I could keep going, keep going, and get a whole system of equations and maybe work things out. Actually, I don't want to work them out exactly. All I need is Y plus Z. So it's not actually asking for the actual values of Y and Z, just their sum. Hmm, well, I should think anything of that. Well, there's no way I'm going to work with all these systems of equations. It seems just too overwhelming. Um, what's a good strategy here? Well, I can't help but notice that some rows and some columns are better than others. So I'm going to say, like, go to extreme, strategy number 10. Like, if I look at this, this particular column here, it's kind of extreme because it's only got one variable in it, v and the rest is numbers. In fact, here's this equation here. So this tells me, ah, v is actually oh, 18 plus 25. What's that? That's uh, 33, 43. It is m minus 43. That feels like something. Another extreme one, what would be another extreme one I could do? Oh, Z. If I did this row, there's a, a, a row with only one variable in it. So 25 plus 21, that's 46 plus Z equals M. So Z is actually M minus 46. All right. Is that helpful? No, uh, not sure, but I could at least write V is M minus 43 and Z is M minus 46. Oh. I wonder if I kept playing this game, because it looks like this middle column's kind of extreme now. I know it's got an M in it, but in some sense, I guess I've assumed I'm working with the letter M. I get a form for X, and then maybe we keep going. Keep going, get a form for Y and W and all of them, and then maybe if my fingers crossed, I can actually work out what Y plus Z is. I might not be able to work out what Y actually is or Z actually is. I think that's probably something to this question. Though, and maybe as a bonus, I can actually work out the individual values. Don't know. I just have to try it. In fact, I'm going to invite you to try it. Could you keep going, thinking in this extreme way, and actually get the sum y plus c? Give it a go. And then when you've got something, compare your answer with my answer that goes with the essay for this video. Let's compare results. This is actually kind of a cool question. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.